Hello everyone, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can encrypt your Dropbox data with CryFS. So to start off, you're gonna to have to check the description of this video and check out the link to this article here because you have to install CryFS and it's an involved process. On most Linux distributions like Ubuntu, Debian, and Arch Linux, it's pretty easy, but I had to build it from scratch on Fedora and uh, so you'll have to get that going before we get started. Once you've got the software installed though, you can go ahead and open up a terminal <clears throat> and CD into your Dropbox folder. Once you're in the Dropbox folder, you wanna run the ls command and take a look at what you can see in there. And uh, now I've got a lot of different stuff. And uh, so I think I'm gonna make my cryfs vault folder in the root directory of Dropbox. So just in here. So we'll make the folder. As you can see, it's now synced up with my Dropbox. Now I need to create the mount folder. And to do that, I need to move back to my home folder and uh, make cryfs mount. Now, if we do an ls again, we can see cryfs mount is, where is it? Right there. So we can now mount the cryfs vault. So to do that, you do cryfs, Dropbox, cryfs vault, and then cryfs mount. So the, the vault folder that we just made in the Dropbox folder and then the mount folder that's right here. And now we say yes for our choice. Enter our password, I will be right back. Once you enter your password, it's gonna encrypt the key. And as it says right here, it can take time. Um, it didn't take that long for me, but uh, it may take long for you. You can now encrypt your data so the way this works, as I explained in the tutorial here, you need to put the stuff in the mount folder. You don't actually want to put it in the Dropbox folder. So if we find the cryfs mount, the vault, this is where it holds our stuff when it's encrypted, when we unmount it. But uh, we need to put everything that we want to encrypt in this folder here. So let's find some data and put it in there. Now let's see my script that I wrote for Pocket Casts. I wrote it to build an NPM package and install it. I Maybe I want to secure this so no one else uses it. Maybe I want to keep this uh, big buck bunny video file, this torrent file, and I'm just going to copy it and put it in my mount folder. Now that files, those files are in there. Let me go back to the data. And uh, Once all your data is in there, you can go ahead and unmount it. So I'm going to unmount my stuff. It gives you a neat little command right here, or you can read what I wrote in the post. But uh, unmount the data. And as soon as you unmount it, you can see that our data is now going up to the Dropbox server. So we can go into our Dropbox directory where we see cryfs. As you see, there are a ton of different folders and files. Now this is just my entire all my entire, uh, the entirety of my encryption stuff. So my my sh file, my video file, and my other thing that I put in there, those three items, this torrent, this file, and uh, this file. And since it's unmounted, you don't see it there. And uh, it's all going up there. It's probably about 72 megabytes. Um, usually it won't take too long to sync. The only reason it's gonna take um, a long time to parse is because there are a lot of little different files like if you look here this is uploading 155 files and it has to go through and look at all of these individual things to put it up there and uh takes quite a long time but the good thing is is that there's nothing that dropbox can do they can't touch your data they can't look through it and if you want to host maybe a video game maybe some files that dropbox doesn't want you to have up there a good example for me is i have a uh a copy of a video game, a mod that the developers of the video game don't like out there, so they notoriously have deleted it from Dropbox on me before, I can encrypt it in this directory and there's nothing they can do about it because it's locked. You can also do this if you are worried about putting in your tax documents so someone could see it or like personal notes or private information. It's very useful for that. Anyways guys, this is how you set up CryFS on Dropbox and on Linux and all that. I highly recommend it. It's pretty straightforward. Please check it out in the description below if you want to learn more about how to install it. 
look at the post that I wrote. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.